my dear brothers and sisters, we are hearing from the Gospels the beginning of the ministry of Jesus. And we have heard from our Gospel passage today one of the most important parts of the beginnings of the ministry of Jesus. And that is the ministry of the Word. Isa po sa mga unang misyon ni Jesus ay ipalaganap ang salita ng Diyos. The ministry of the Word. That is why this scripture passage at the beginning of the mission of Jesus is crucial because we see that Jesus entered the synagogue, took the scroll from the Old Testament, and read it in front of the people. And not only did he read the scroll in front of the people, but he himself fulfilled what was read from the Word of God. Mga minamahal na kapatid, ngayong hapon na ito ay bigyang pansin po natin ito kung paanong pinahalagahan ni Jesus ang pagbabasa ng salita ng Diyos, gayon din naman sana ngayong hapon na ito, pahalagahan din natin ang pagbabasa ng salita ng Diyos. Who among us here remembers that January is Bible Month? kahapon ko lang po naalala <laughs> because there was a priest who gave a talk on the celebration of Bible Month this January. And it is a very important celebration because Jesus himself read from the Bible the Old Testament and he is the fulfillment of the scriptures. And Jesus did not only read so that he could teach, Jesus read from the Bible so that he could proclaim. He said he could proclaim glad tidings to the poor, to captives, to the blind, to the oppressed. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, the Word of God does not only teach us, the Word of God consoles us. The Word of God sets us free. The Word of God saves us. Mga minamahal na kapatid, ang pagpapahayag ng salita ng Diyos ay hindi lamang po pagtuturo sa atin. Kapag nagbasa tayo ng salita ng Diyos, kapag nagbahagi tayo ng salita ng Diyos, nagpapalakas tayo ng ating kapwa. Pinapalakas natin ang isa't isa. These past days, we have seen COVID-19 spreading very fast. But in turn, my dear brothers and sisters, if COVID-19 is spreading, it is our duty to spread not COVID-19. Let us spread the Word of God in the midst of the spread of this COVID-19. Because as Jesus said, the Word of God can inspire us. The Word of God can strengthen us. The Word of God can save and heal us. 
ilang araw na kung mayroong mga nagte-text sa akin. Napakadami mga kakilala ko, kapamilya, kamag-anak, nagsasabi, Father, please pray for us. We are experiencing symptoms. Father, please pray for our family. Lahat kami inuubo ngayon o may lagnat ngayon. Siguro po nakaranas din kayo ng ganyan. Nakatanggap din kayo ng mga texts asking for prayers. Ano ko ang sinasagot ninyo? Instead of just replying, Ah, okay, I promise to pray for you. Send them a verse from the Bible. And you will be surprised that they will be strengthened by the Word of God. The other day, I sent this passage from the book of Isaiah. I said, and I sent him the passage, By his wounds, you are healed. Sabi niya, Father, ngayon ko lang narinig itong Bible verse na ito. But it is very significant and important. I said, By the wounds of Jesus Christ, we are healed. How many of us can be strengthened if only we are able to pass on and spread the Word of God? So starting today, my dear brothers and sisters, I hope that when someone asks you to pray for them, please forward to them a Bible passage. It will give them strength. It will give them consolation. It will give them healing and hope. As our first reading said to us today, the victory that conquers the world is our faith. I know at this time, we are concerned of spreading medicines, food, sending something to those who are sick. Why don't we also send them and spread the Word of God? Because faith is the victory that conquers everything in the world. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Holy Mass, let us be reminded that the first mission of Jesus is to spread the Word of God. In this time when the COVID-19 virus is spreading very fast, let us imitate Jesus and let us spread the Word of God so that we might also spread healing, strength, consolation, and hope in this time. Amen.